Nisuing ba sa kantikon iya table tennis promotional event na rumchak sawa iya dalo ing pa indoor stadium tura ona dengtang dengtang Indiani bakrangoni mungsing pa table tennis playerang ribaha iya promotional event ko silongo antisana ungat tang manaha aro dalo tura ode ungat skyinga iya event na ribag parangoni skang pa Sarnat Kamal Achanta Jayan Tang Skuna National Championship ko matne Kamles Mehta ni record ko break kaha Patma Sri Aro Arjun Award ko ba una ona ha Gni gpao Sanil Sethi Jayan Hazal Gni Chichet ni Commonwealth Game mo Men's Single Low Gold ko Aro Double Low Bronze ko ba Indiana raba ha Aro gtham gpao Reed Rias Jayan Indian Mitskrangoni Skang pa number ba first ranker tennis player unga was kang pa chang na pro tour ko 2021 o manang skaha aro brig pa o Archana Kamat Jayan Karnataka ni number one table tennis player unga aro uwa international ranking o de dok pa gadang o ung iskay nga aro Indian women player ang o ni de ya position na nambat ka pa unga niba nagkang nagata mangyan hai ang ching ya Promotional event ko niyang na aro ang sengang skana. It is of great honor for me to share the journey of Tura Table Tennis Association since the time of its inception. It was born out of a very sincere effort put in by none other than our present Meghalaya Table Tennis Association Organizing Committee Chairman Bruce P. Marak and Sri Aniruddha Barman in 1989. The first trainings were conducted in Tura Don Bosco School with Rolling Stone M. Sangma, Jen Muller, Angelo, Rikcheng, Eligius, Annie Senkal as the first students. The, coach was, the coaching was shifted to this indoor sports hall in 1992 and it was a proud moment for the Tura Table Tennis Association when in 1993, four of its students participated in the National Table Tennis Championships in Hyderabad. Then in 1994, Narsi, a female TT player, joined the other players, I mentioned above, in the Northeast Games. Then the hard work of Tura Table Tennis Association bore fruit in 1995 when some players won the bronze medal in team events in Northeast Games held in Tripura. To put all in a nutshell, from a humble beginning, the Table Tennis Association of Tura has come a long way. It might have been only strong enough to make holes in the rock like tiny drops of water that persist to fall, but we all should know that persistence is the attitude that breaks down mountains one rock at a time. They had been privileged to race, not just run, they gallops very beautifully. Today, uh, we have come a point uh, in time where sports has really become a very, very important aspect of people's lives and the recognition that is being given to sportsmen and sportswomen uh, is something that is very, very important and well-deserved. I think that the program that the Government of India has started through Kelo India has been a very, very important platform where aspiring athletes, aspiring sportspersons are given that opportunity through better infrastructure, through opportunities, 
through, um, you know, through recognition and uh, allowing our sports people to be able to nurture and become their best possible versions. Uh, I'm very, very happy to see today that in Garo Hills, in Meghalaya, we are upgrading our in, uh, sports infrastructure in order to do so. This event is a promotional event, basically to encourage the local talent to get an opportunity to play with the country's best players, playing with them, enhancing their confidence, learning by watching them, and working hard so that they can bring no, more laurels for the state. So these exhibition matches that will be played, we will be actually displaying various strokes and we are starting off with an exhibition match with, between Reet Rishya, international table tennis player, currently India number two in the women's and a local talent Tanushri. So my request, the only thing that we can give the players today is our encouragement, our appreciation and your claps for every point won by any one of them would definitely encourage them to do so. We are now moving on to a different play that is mixed doubles. at what age did you start playing? I, I was lucky uh, that I could start at a very young age. I started at the age of four. So my father is my coach. So he used to already uh, coach even before I was born. So I used to go along with him when I was four years old. And I don't remember if I was playing at the age of four, but I was in the club playing with the other kids, uh, if not table tennis, some 
just some other sports like running and catching and other stuff. Um, so, but I personally had a liking to the sport and uh, I wanted to continue it as, a, as my career. And it was in the 10th standard when uh, I had to decide if education uh, and you know, higher studies or sports and a career into sports. And my parents let me decide that choice. He, they gave me the choice to decide. And uh, I wanted to follow my passion of playing the sport. And I'm really lucky. And I would say I'm, I'm, on, I'm very fortunate to have had such parents who are very supportive of, you know. I think that's, that's the common trait with all of us here. The parents have been very, very supportive of, you know, encouraging our passions and letting us dream as big as we could and work towards it. Archana, I will ask you, how has edu uh, playing sports impacted your studies or whether sports has helped you do well in studies? Um, sports has definitely helped me do uh, well in studies uh, because uh, all sports persons have a very hectic life. We travel around a lot, we play a lot of tournaments, dedicate a lot of uh, time to training. So, um, there's not much time to study, I, I have to agree with that. But because table tennis is such a sport, it improves your concentration. And because I play table tennis, I feel I could grasp a lot of things very early when I'm studying. So, probably things which would take me six hours to study, I could probably do it in two hours. So, sport definitely. Sunil. When you were going up, I mean, how did it improve your health? I believe you did have a very major illness. So how did table tennis or any sport help you to overcome that illness? At one time, doctors felt that you could not even play. Uh, so uh, when I was born, I was born with a hole in my heart. So uh, my childhood was not like a normal child. So. I used to look from my window, other players, uh, other kids were playing on the streets. So one, one, one time my brother brought a big trophy from one tournament, so I got inspired by that and I wanted to win something as big as that trophy. So I told my brother I want to play table tennis, but parents were worried at that time, but my brother convinced them that let him start. So I started with athletics for improve my stamina, endurance, everything. Then at the age of nine, I started playing table tennis. So this 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 is how I started playing table tennis, and from there I, I started improving my health and everything. And now I can play six hours, eight hours, and I'm very fit now. Reed, being a girl child, did how did you take up to active sports? What are the challenges that you face as a girl child? I started playing table tennis from Chennai and uh, my parents, uh, they encouraged me a lot um, because I come from a Christian family so like they supported me to play table tennis and they let me to play like they didn't tell me uh, not to like we have a code like dress code like wear skirt but in south it's like you need to uh, dress properly, it's like that. But my parents, they supported me and uh, they encouraged me to play.
Yes, last <laughs> 